Yeah, I, I really, really love the vibe here in Tahiti. I think most of the boys um, just absolutely love it. It's, uh, it's just a real simple way of living. Um, everyone kind of stays with the family or, you know, friends, and they've all got their little uh, little setups where they've got like um, kind of a bed and bre breakfast set up. And, um, and then that house normally has a boat that, that you know, however many guys are staying with them can use to go and surf chopes. And I love going surfing by boat. That's, you know, one of the funnest things. It just gives that little surf trip vibe where you just, you just get so excited. There's something about jumping off a boat to go surf that's just really special. And um, every session's uh, via a boat and it's sick. <laughs> I haven't surfed Chopes since my heat. I had a couple surfs out there before the event, and then my heat was such a fun heat, but Freddie P ended up winning. But uh, yeah, it wasn't angry or anything. Had a couple of really fun tubes. And um, yeah, just look forward to the next round. The atmosphere and the scene and the whole channel vibe is like, it's one of those things you can't really do it justice, so I try and explain it. It's just, uh, you have to be there to see how close you actually are to these waves and um, you know when it's three or four foot like it's been the last few years it's, you know it's really awesome and it's fun as soon as it gets like six eight foot and above it's like out of this world experience like it's terrifying even being in the channel there in those boats you know for someone especially that's that's not um doesn't have wave knowledge or you know may, maybe not that comfortable in the ocean you can put someone right there where they're just right in the thick of things where guys will get they'll get you know spray from the, the spit of the barrel where they're sitting in the boat oh i've been terrified over the years of we you know the rumors of big swells coming and when we get like 10 to 12 foot swells hitting hitting chopes it's it's really scary, you know. You have to admit, everyone is pretty, pretty, you know, scared. Like people are biting their nails because it's, it is really intense. But, but it's awesome too. And especially when the contest is on, you know, there's guys just hooting and screaming, and you, you know, you're in the water and like they're telling you to go these waves, and it's just like go, go. Like if a massive one comes, of course they're going to be going go, go. Even if it's not a good wave, they're just going go because they want to see someone eat shit, of course. So, um, you know, you got to put that out of your head and like. You know, if it's a good wave and it's a big one and it's a one that you want, use that as, you know, some drive to, you know, get that thing, like, you know, use that energy. But, um, but most of the time you still have to be selective and, you know, don't listen to everything the crowd says because they just want to see people go every single wave that comes through. You still got to be on your game and pick the right ones. But yeah, once you just get driven through one of those tubes and you get spat out and all those boats are there and people are hooting, it's, it's the best feeling ever. But uh, yeah, it's, it's scary for sure.